Yo, what's up people? Twilly's Two Cents here with another video for you guys. So today I want to create a tagged video and it's going to be about fragrances that made me sweat when it came time to check out. So stay tuned and we're going to hop right into it. Welcome back to the video. So before we jump into this thing, like I always say, ain't nothing in life free except for that like, share, and subscribe button. So hit your boy with one of those. And yeah, let's jump right into this thing. So what I mean by fragrances that made me sweat at checkout, these are usually your rare fragrances that are highly anticipated. A lot of people are searching for them and you don't have long when they get posted, you know, to hurry up and check out because it can sell out just like that so i'm gonna rank those fragrances in my opinion uh i guess the least sweat to the most sweaty when it came to checking out and you'll probably kind of see what i mean by the end of this video so let's jump right into it so i do have five fragrances here but i do have two honorable mentions that i want to mention and we're gonna start with the ysl long oil team so this fragrance right here is a great light fresh rose a bit of ginger fragrance uh from ysl and the reason that i got a, a, an honorable mention is because during the time that i did get this fragrance it was still readily available it wasn't like scarce but now you really can't even find this thing and it's not even really popping up so for some of you out there if you see this one it may be a bit of sweat going on when you get to the checkout with this one if you can find it next honorable mention is one that came out recently and that is going to be stronger with you oud so when this thing first came out it went kind of fast but i have seen it being more available these days even though it still sells out fast it does come around a bit faster which is why this one it shouldn't create too much sweat for you when it comes to checking out with this one you also have the option of you know the 100 mil size coming out and the 50 mil size coming out so if you've been checking for this one a nice woody smooth oud fragrance for the fall time if you've been looking for this one go ahead and set some alerts and you shouldn't have too much sweat when it comes to checking out okay so starting with fragrance number five this one has recently popped up and it did create a tad bit of sweat for me when it came to checking out and that's coming from roberto cavalli this is womo golden anniversary edition this is a fantastic leather and lavender fragrance and got something called black violet in this this thing is just handsome i will be doing a full review on this one soon but yeah this is one of the ones that would definitely have you sweating at checkout it had me sweating at checkout because you know i thought this thing here was going to go super fast but it did stay around a few hours longer than i expected it to but man this is a very rare find in my opinion this thing came out in 2021 so if you just so happen to see this gold bottle don't even think twice pull that trigger as fast as you can because this thing smells great that is roberto cavalli's womo golden anniversary at number five next fragrance up on the list for number four we have john paul gaultier and this fragrance is essence or lamar essence de parfum so the thing with this one is that you can rarely find essence these days you may be able to come up on some but why i think that this one right here will create an extra bit of sweat for you when it comes to checking out is because this is the bottle that has the red juice if you know anything about the lamar essences you have one bottle that has a blue type of juice and one that has a red juice they say that the red is the best i haven't really got my nose on the blue one but to me this one smells fantastic this is another leathery type of fragrance you get some cardamom in this one lavender again but a thing i think that really tops this one off is that it has some cinnamon in it and of course you have some vanilla this thing smells amazing you're going to want to dress this one up and yeah like i said had to pull the trigger on this one as soon as i could because this did not stay around long so if you see this thing pop up next time probably on fragrance buy go ahead check it out because it might be the one with the red juice in the bottle next so now we're coming into the top three you know sweat inducing checkout fragrances and these right here 
have to be the most palm sweaty how fast can i click this button because i'm worried that i will see that red sold out you know logo sign or whatever it is you know from not acting fast enough in the third spot we're gonna have Guerlain's Lone Ideal Extreme this fragrance right here pops up very few and far in between it is in my opinion right up there with the EDP and the differences between the two is that one the uh, EDP has that cherry note in it but this one right here has that plum note and to me a bit more spice to it this is another elegant fragrance the one that you want to dress up not really your you know just down casual white t-shirt kind of fragrance smells awesome i know i have this wonderful 50 mil size that will last me quite a bit yeah glad to have this one in the collection like i said it's hard to find it does appear ever so often but you gotta be on the lookout for it and when it shows up you already know you gotta get ready to hit that checkout button real fast because there's other people out there watching next fragrance number two and number one when it comes to sweating i'm starting to sweat right now just thinking about them these two i feel could have went either way but the way i have it set up you'll see what i'm talking about so coming in at the number two spot we have dior on parfum this nice rose oud designer fragrance don't even smell designer this is a niche quality fragrance from top to bottom smells amazing and to some they would say it's a masterpiece so you can imagine the type of people that's out there scouting this fragrance probably got it on their list right now waiting on the next chance for it to pop up so they can go ahead and hit that purchase button so if this is one that you've been looking for you definitely need to have alert set up for this one go ahead get your towel because your palms gonna be sweating before you can even check out with this one right here hopefully you get it but yeah like I said, if you got one of these, consider yourself lucky because they don't even sell these in the U.S., I don't think. Yeah, like I said, great, fantastic fragrance. Close to a 10 in my book. Can't get enough of it. So, last fragrance up on the list. What do we have? If you're in the fragrance community, you know how hard this one is to find. You know the chances that you may find this one may be slim to none. I just so happen to get lucky. You know when it came around and it didn't last long at all probably like a few minutes before it was sold out and it's going to be coming from prada and that's prada luna rosa extreme i think now the name is even more fitting because it is extremely hard to find and it's probably going to be extremely hard for you to check out with it if you don't have your money ready if you're slow on the draw if you you don't have a chance to think twice when it comes to checking out with this one this one you got to be ready to go because like i said who knows when the next time you may even see a prada luna rosa extreme unless prada decides to revamp this and come back out with it it's hard to find i don't remember off top but i did do a video on this one i think my batch came from I want to say 2008. I may be wrong, but somewhere in around the area, that's where this batch came from. Smells fantastic. Got some pepper in this one. Got some lavender, vanilla. And in my opinion, this is like the best of Prada Luna Rosa Black and Prada Luna Rosa Sport. If you can kind of put those two together, add some black pepper to it, this is what you get right here smells fantastic this is one of the ones where you have to cherish the sprays and it's for good reason because like i said extremely hard to find that is the last fragrance that i got for you guys today and it is prada luna rosa extremely hard to find so has some fantastic fragrances here today all gems in my opinion and if you can find either one of these go ahead hit that checkout real fast check out yeah save yourself a little bit of sweat because these right here got pretty sweaty you know so drop me some comments if you have any of these fragrances what do you think about them but more importantly i want to know what were the fragrances that made you sweat at checkout because you were worried that other people were going to buy it before you even got a chance to hit that button so like i said this is the tag video i would like to tag jeremy over at the house of colossus i know you're getting tired of these tag videos but i gotta throw you in there because i know you got some stuff gotta tag dedrick hicks I know you got some stuff and who else would I like to throw in there? Let me just throw in a random person. You guys may have to help me out. Y'all may have to go and let this person let this person know that I tagged them in this video. Well, let me let me try to. Let's see how 
how this outreach can go from this video. I would like to tag Big Beard Business and also my guy Darian the Bowtie Fragrance guy. So I would like to tag those two as well. Yeah, let's see what you guys got. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe, click the notification bell. And if you enjoyed the video also, leave me a like or dislike, drop some comments, you know, stuff like that. And also check out one of these videos.